So you'll have that bag of hardware there. Yep. It comes mostly assembled, but you do have to put the wheels and, and um, uh, all your brackets on. And all your brackets on there. The hose bracket, uh, wand bracket, and uh, sandblaster wand brackets, which is all in one bag. All right. Okay. What I'll do is lay them all out so it's easier for you to see everything you have. You have two axles with spacers for your wheels. You got a right and a left handle bracket. And there's your lower wand bracket and your other lower wand bracket. And this is your uh, hose bracket. Okay. First, what I'm going to do is buy, start with your axle and take your uh, pin out and your spacer and put it through on the side where it's where you can inflate your tires if you have to. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this handle, take your pins out of your handle, which holds it up, and you'll want to put those back in and lock them into place. Now what you want to do is brace yourself up under the handle and lift up on the unit and go ahead and insert, oops, first, put your axle spacer on the back side, hold up on your machine and go ahead and put your wheel on. Insert your roof pin on one side, just like that, and then as do the same on the other side. Remove your roof pin from the axle, and take your spacer off. Same, put it through on the air side, and put your spacer on. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Lift up on the unit. Insert your pin. And put your root pin in. There. You will need either two 7 16 wrenches or a 7 16 uh, with an impact, which I prefer a lot quicker and easier. Okay. All right, first, let's start with the handle brackets. Once again, you have a left and a right. Now, the easiest way to tell which side is which is your point that is at an angle. You always want it facing up, and that'll tell you left and right. So as is, point will always be facing up. If it's not facing up, that means you got the wrong bracket, which I'll show. That's the wrong way. The point facing down is the wrong way. So, go ahead and install that. And of course, I'm using an impact. Just snug it. And then we'll go to the other side. And once again, you want the point facing up to know that you're on, you got your brackets on the right side and the left side. Just snug it. Then you have two of the same brackets, which is for your wands. These don't matter. They can go on either side, but what you want to do is take this bolt, lower bolt out from the hood on this side and you want to install this bracket back in through the hood's hole so it holds it in place. And then just snug it up. 
and once again there's two brackets that are the same one for each side in the same location Just snug them. Okay, then finally you have one last bracket, which is your hose bracket, your water hose bracket, and you install it on this side of the machine, which says the suppressor wand side, which is the, the only side it has the holes. Install it by putting this insert into the top hole and your bolt into the bottom hole. And just snug. And this will be your water hose bracket. This will be your pressure wand bra uh, bracket holders. And this side will be your sand wand, which is labeled on both sides. And now, after that, hook your battery up, which is disconnected for uh, safe shipping. And just snug it good and put your cap over and your machine is fully assembled and ready to go. Set it on top of the unit like that with the nozzle pointing out. Mm -hmm. And inside the lid will be your pins for holding your hopper box on. You got a square bell pin and two round ones. Your two round ones are going to go in the front two holes that are in the frame of the unit. And you just want to lock them in on the inside. <coughs> and the same. On the other side, there will be a hole also through the frame, and you just lock your bell pin into place. And then you have a catch bracket for whenever you tilt it forward to refill the unit, which I will show. But your square bell pin goes through this bracket. There's a hole in the frame. Okay. Now this is for whenever you pivot it. There's a catch latch so that it can't come back and fall while you are putting fuel in the unit. Then after you've fueled the unit, you want to just lift, lift up on the box, lift up on the latch, and let it come back down. pressure washer one all in one box and um, also in this uh, is there extra directions for uh, the cleaning of the nozzle but you have two extra tips that come with it which I would keep with the unit and you have pressure washer spray nozzles which go in the handle of the sandblaster And I would go ahead and insert those so you don't lose them. And color coded, just put them. And it'll explain to you what does what. Each of the color coatings for pressure washing. Okay. Now that those are inserted. Okay, now. You have your pressure wand for pressure washing, which you can go ahead and put on this side. It says pressure wand. Go ahead and install it there. And now you have your sand.
hand blaster wand. handle which helps you hold the wand while sandblasting which insert it if you're left-handed or right-handed it, it has either side to put the handle in install that and where you feel comfortable where you like for it to be take the thumb thumb screw and snug it down it'll keep it from sliding okay now installing the sand hose In your kit, you'll have springs for taking tension off of your hose. That way it does not kink during sandblasting. What you install the spring side first and the side that has the slots in it facing out for whenever you put it on because you will clamp it here with these two clamps that come with it. Okay. Now, the easiest way to install this sand hose is take some kind of lubricant uh, such as a WD-40 or a uh, deep creep and just squirt just a little bit in the end of the hose just like that and you can to help put a little bit on the end of the barb which the hose is going to go on now to install the hose I found that it's easier if you have a glove on to help grip on the hose other than bare skin. And it will be fairly tough to get this hose on here because you do not want any air suction coming from off this hose, from out behind the hose. And you gotta just keep pushing and working it, pushing it and working it until the hose is all the way up in the yellow uh, plastic insert for your spring. And the reason this is so hard to put on because you do not want no extra air suction other than what's dragging uh, out of the box itself. Okay, now you want to take your tension spring, which helps keep from your hose kinking, and take your clamps. And squeeze that on there which a pair of pliers a pair of channel locks or pliers are ideal for this because you really want to get the clamp all the way as tight as it can go which is all the way butted to the other side of the plastic lip. Okay. Now, what you want to do, so you don't have no tangling in your hose, is go ahead and straighten it out the best you can. And you got two brackets on the front of your box, which is for your sand hose which you want to wrap loosely, not tight, because you do not want to kink your hose. Okay, now you have your hose wrapped on the box. And I do that before putting the hose on your sand one because it's a lot easier to get the, uh, the kinks out of it. Also, on the side of the sand one, you have another barb fitting, which you're gonna install the hose on this side. And you have another spring which the spring side goes first, as like the other one. 
And once again, you want to use just a little bit of lubricant in the end of the hose. Just like that. Okay. And be sure that it is all the way to the end of the barb so there is no extra air suction. Now you want to do the same on this side with your uh, clamp to help hold this tension spring in place. And once again use channel locks or pliers to help squeeze on it all the way as tight as it can go. And now this is the full assembly of your sandblaster. And what you'll do is just take a pair of uh, standard uh, plier cutters and just snip them. You can see your springs will raise back up as you cut them. And you have two in the front also. And as you can see, the springs will raise. 